Two things people get really passionate about are music and coffee. Yes, now a man who's won Grammys for his music is hoping to make just as big an impact with his cup of joe. Yeah, and as ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom explains, it's all starting right in our backyard. Mike Dirt has a pretty sweet gig. My day job, I'm the bass player for the band Green Day. Yes, being a rock star means working long hours. I can't exist without great coffee. And over the years, it's become an obsession. I'll roast my own beans right there. Sometimes I'll even throw them in a, in a cast iron skillet. Now that obsession's turned into a business. Come on down. This is the best coffee in town. Oakland Coffee is launching an exclusive blend at Costco stores. We're not really into the tangy thing, and we're not into the burnt thing. We'd like a nice chocolatey, earthy, uh, full body you know, a cup of coffee. But beyond the flavor. Delicious. What's it taste like? Real coffee. There's something else he claims is a world first. All of our bags are made from corn starches and plant-based plastics. Bags that can live on the shelf for a year, but go in the compost when they're empty, including the little plastic valve that keeps the coffee fresh. The only bag on the planet that has that. We are cutting edge technology here. But Oakland Coffee is also taking on another challenge. Bag waste has been around for decades, but now there's a new kind of waste that's taking over. Possibly the single biggest problem in coffee right now. John Rogers is talking about these single serving coffee pods sold here by the hundreds. It's billions and billions. I mean, people say 15 billion a year go in and fill up the landfills. So Oakland Coffee teamed up with San Francisco Bay Coffee to make a pod that won't wind up here. A product that is 100% compostable. You take it out of your single serve machine, throw it right in the green bin. Three weeks, it's dirt. They'll be selling those in about a month. For now, the whole beans come in these 12 ounce bags. You'd be amazed how many hours are in the day when you've got good coffee in your hand. Especially when that coffee Thank you so much. is signed by the artist himself. Oh. <laughs> in Richmond, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News.